Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Crow here with um, kind of an interesting little thing. Uh, I decided, you know, what's some stuff I could do to my game to make it a little bit more immersive? What, what, what can I do to make Elite Dangerous more interesting? And, uh, well, one of them is a program called Face Track Noir. I'll, I guess I can link it in the description. It's, uh, it doesn't use the Track IR headset thing, so it's not as precise. But basically, as long as you have a webcam, you set it up, you set up the dead zones, you set up the uh, curves, and all you have to do is turn your head, and the webcam is seeing your face in front of your screen and is rotating your, your cockpit camera to make up for it. So like right now, I have nothing on my, head, on my headphones, and I'm just turning my head, and my webcam is looking at me funny. It's uh, not very precise, as you can see by the, the locking in the middle here, I do have a pretty significant dead zone, because I like to just wobble, like look, if I look off to the side and try to hold it in one spot, yeah, it kind of just drifts around. This is me holding my head perfectly still. So the technology is not perfect. So I needed a dead zone here, but it is handy. Like, it's not sturdy enough for me to really... Come on, look down. There we go. For me to do this very well. But if I just want to glance to the side during a landing or during combat, or it's like, oh, there's a ship above me. I'm going to keep shooting it. It's good to use. The um, other thing is deploy weapons. Oh, for fuck's sake. It needs a pause between my command and the last thing I said, so let's deploy hard points. Deploying and readying weapons. Power to weapons. Diverting power to weapons. It is a uh, program called Voice Attack with a little add-on thing with more than 1,400 voice commands. All of them tie into the game. Um, I had to make some buttons, like when I asked it to first open the galaxy map, it wouldn't do it at first until I set the button for it on the keyboard. So, open galaxy map. Oh, I forgot to pause again. Open galaxy map. Displaying map. Oh, well, well let's see if this works. Exit galaxy map. Close galaxy map. Closing map. Yay! And then it's got a bunch of, um, it's got an entire section on education, like, um, out here. They're, they're, they're a little bit long-winded, but they're basically TLDR versions of, um, different, how, like, what is this? So, uh, what is a black hole? A black hole is a region of space-time from which gravity prevents anything, including light, from escaping. The theory of general relativity predicts that a sufficiently compact mass will deform space-time to form a black hole. The boundary of the region from which no escape is possible is called the event horizon. So, uh, there's that. And it goes on and on. You can ask her about neutrinos, you can ask her about black dwarf or uh, brown dwarves and event horizons and plumes and flares and a like any any asteroid and any body you can think of it'll ask it'll, it'll answer what are these uh, I flew down to this planet because it's one of my new favorite planets it's got some really really cool and pretty canyon formations this isn't one of them it's just one I found um, this is one of the ground things I missed I put cannons on the, on the python just because they sound awesome Oh, that wasn't a kill. There we go. These guys were not meant to fight ships. They're meant to fight SRVs. So I usually just pick them off the uh, crash sites with ship weapons. Retract hard points. Retracting all weapons. There's something called um. I'm not going to say it, but there's a there's a there's a. I'll, I'll, let me post off in front of it so it's not activated. It's like a defense protocol alpha, which basically just okay. It lost my face. That's one of the issues. It loses your face and just kind of does that. Find my face again. There we go. I leaned back too far. I'll probably disable that. It's too. It's more of a hassle than it is a boon. Oh, there's a snail stinger left. Let's just deploy hard points the old-fashioned way and do it. There we go. Um, then it's got a bunch of. It's got a bunch of Star Wars or it's not, geez, it's not Star Wars. Star Trek references like uh, uh, Are you Spock? I am not Spock. And you, and not Captain Kirk. Whoever designed it just put a bunch of silly, silly references in it. 
Like, um, okay, hang on. Here's, here's one that my friend showed me. I want the Oculus Rift, and I want it now. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And I've only, I've only memorized some of these commands. There's so many. It is ridiculous how many there are. Yeah, I know I'm trespassing, but what are you going to do about it? All your sentries are dead. This is an anarchy system, so anything I steal here I can is, is not illegal. I found some uh, inhabited cargo pods and some drugs on this planet earlier, and I sold them all. But uh, I've been working on the Python. It's no longer stock. I got a better power distributor, got better weapons, um, better shields, better... A lot, I got a better lot of stuff. I switched it back from the black the Black Friday paint to the default one because it that looks better with olive drab and cyan or not, and and tan. But okay, well, actually, I can turn my head to look at it. There we go. Come on. Okay, okay. The dead zones are messing with me. What is it? Oh, I love that ship so much. I love that ship so much. It, it has so much cargo space. I can upgrade the cargo things too. They they can carry 32. I have two 32 ton cargo racks right now, and I can upgrade them to 64 each. Uh-oh. It, it beeped at me when I opened my cargo scoop. What did, what did I even just pick up? I didn't even look. Canister. Occupied escape pod. Cool. And my cargo base full, so there should be about four pieces of wood. Okay. I can't jet when I was close. I like the ground clearance, too. I can approach this um SRV bay from any side of the ship. Okay, narcotics and escape pod. Yeah, that seems to be pretty common for this, this planet. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of drug runners, smugglers are crashing here for some reason. Personal weapons, so... Canister of AK-47s. Well, space AKs. Then, the sh I think there was one more. There's usually one more. Yeah, there it is. Another occupied escape pod. So two people were carrying illegal weapons and drugs. Something happened to their ship. Fucked their day up. They crashed here. They managed to survive in their escape pods, which can survive a crap ton of an explosion. Like they are, they're built built for tough. And then an enterprising python finds their drugs, their guns, and their their persons shoves it all into their ship, and sells them all. That's right. Elite Dangerous is a universe where if you jettison your escape pod, somebody can find you and sell you. I don't even want to think about what happens after that. I'm, I'm imagining butt stuff. Um, let's see. There, there's so many voice commands. I like, I can't even. There's no way I can memorize all of them. There's a whole whole section on targeting. There's a whole section on uh, navigation. There's a whole section on power management. Like, it's it's huge. It's huge how many commands they put into this thing. This isn't the canyon network I wanted. The canyon network I want has like these really cool, really, really pretty like red canyons. But. Let's jump back up to two kilometers and look for more blue circles to search for. To to loot. Power to engines. Power to engines. Power to engines. I keep I keep forgetting to do the pause, so it's like it it's not necessarily more handy than doing it yourself with a with a button. But I don't know, it feels for somebody like me who enjoys a bit of bit of immersion, a bit of role play, a bit of make believe. It's fun, because you're like, oh, my ship's talking to me. It's a com It's the ship computer. Say something. Um, um, talk to me. What do you think? What do you say? There was a way to make her just randomly start talking. I think you have to call her by her name. I don't know. Okay, there's the target, right? Straight in front of me. 
Also, for those of you who are going to see this after I upload it to YouTube, I am currently streaming this on my Twitch as I'm doing it with, oh, two whole viewers. Hello, viewers. You can check out my, my channel for this later at uh, YouTube slash The Chaos Crow. What's this? Oh, there's really nothing here. That's just the edge of it. Oh, Baz is online. No oh, wait, is this debris or is this just a texture glitch? That was just a texture glitch. Yeah, there's just some texture issues. They've been having problems with textures since Horizons. If you notice, the underside of my Python is a lot of times untextured when I deploy the SRV, along with the inside of the SRV bay. The cat's talking to me. Let me... I don't use anything here. Yeah, there's nothing here. So we're going to boost back up. Retract hard points. Retracting all the weapons. I'm about to turn her voice down even more. She is really loud. I wasn't at the middle, was I? No, I wasn't at the middle. The middle is... Over... Over here, and then down... Closer to, like, there. Yeah, it's somewhere over there. I cannot wait for 2016. Well, it is 2016, but I can't wait for the updates. Oh, cool. Okay, jeez. Find my face. Find my face, please. Come on. It's right here. I can cover, cover, cover my face. Peekaboo. There it goes. That is getting turned off. It's, it's cool to play with, but... It's cool to show off in a YouTube video, but it is not precise enough technology for me to use this. I'm going to wait for a track noir, or not track noir, track IR, or something similar. Okay, that's enough just farting about the planet. Okay, let's see if this works. Defensive Protocol Alpha. Okay, I think it's Defense Protocol Alpha. Fuck. Yeah. It doesn't work great. Defense Protocol Alpha. Engaging exit protocols. Retracting weapons. Attempting jump. Stand by. It automatically retracts your weapons and tries to put you into frame shift. So, pretty cool. That is my current favorite planet right now because it's all it's that canyon system is really pretty. Although there's nothing much in the system, it's an anarchy system. It's a little scary. I'm gonna sell this crap and probably head back to Ziki for some bounty hunting. See if I can afford a better power core. The A7 is a fucking expensive core, so I'm currently kind of like going up. I have the default E7. I'll probably jump up to like a D7 or a well, maybe not B7. That's fucking that's another 17 million, but like C7. CC7 or D7 sounds sounds nice to give you an extra couple megawatts. Another little bit of power to deal with. I got the uh, shield cell bank, couple of shield boosters, cargo cannons. I got kill warrant scanner, docking computer, fuel scoop, a shitty fuel scoop C3, chaff launcher, uh, frame shift drive interdictor, because why not? Basic discovery scanner for exploration. Um, but the power plant is still, yeah, power plant still E7, life support E4, frame shift drive is a B5. I got a, I got a better frame shift drive just because I, I didn't feel like taking forever. It was like a, it was like an eight kilometer or eight light year jump range without it. Now it's up to like 13. Python doesn't have long legs, but it has a lot of fuel that can go for a while. Vehicle hanger, shield generator is now at D6, which is slight improvement. Power distributor C7, that was important. It took me forever to get my power levels back. Now it's a little bit better. It doesn't suck down my entire bar when I use the uh, boost. And I can fire for longer with the lasers. I want to find those canyons. They were at the edge of one of these orange spots. This is where the head look is handy, so I can not actually fly towards the planet to look at it. It's 
kind of like that. Or see how it's kind of like orange on the edges of the... Those aren't canyons, those are... There's a mountain. I don't know. Anyway, that is what I had to show you today. I'm out to four people on my Twitch stream. Might be a new record. And, uh... I'll be uploading this clip to YouTube shortly with a little bit of example of, um... What's your face? What's a white dwarf? Oh, I have to say what is. Oh, okay. Oh, I wonder if what happens if I... It has a lot of Star, Star, uh, Star Trek references. Beam me up, Scotty. No! Really? You put in a bunch of Spockisms, but not that one. I need to look up more of these commands, just so I can have... Just, I can just dick around with them during streams and, and YouTube videos and stuff. Because it is handy, but with 1400 commands, I keep active, accidentally activating them when I'm narrating a video. That's a cool planet. Anyway, that is all I had to show you today for Elite Dangerous. I will be back next time, next time I find something interesting.